For years, their pranks have gone viral. Get the hell away from my car, you stupid little freak. But what happens when they get too big for the internet? I don't know. How do you know? I pissed on my son. We must have tossed around names for months. Literally. Months and months. Like we had, I, I, I don't remember all the names, but Goofballs. We, we all, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we literally had one that was like goofballs or something. But, so uh, bad. Uh, I think we all kept saying like, when somebody says the right one, we're all gonna go, that's it. And, yeah. and uh, Natural Born Pranksters came up and, and we all were like, yeah, that should be the title. You gotta do. Yeah, I can do whatever I want. <laughs> Sorry. No, this is my favorite cheese. We have a legal line. Yeah, yeah, it's got to. So why, we like to walk right up to the line. I'm like, maybe put one leg over it, I you know. Do. But this guy wants to sometimes just jump. Like, yeah. Yo, I can jump, fly, and circle back. Yeah, he's like this. He's I'm like, back. don't do it. You know, sometimes when we have stepped over that line, we've uh, we've all been arrested together. We had uh, you know court trials and. and for the most part, we've always won because yeah. what we're doing is really not. We set precedents. Yeah. So it's really cool. There's cases out there, case law, that they reference our cases for. Vitaly has spent uh, 45 days in jail for a prank. Yeah. yeah. So. That was before we were babysitting him. Yeah. Oh, you can use, uh, use a porta potty right over here. It's rated X. Most of Vitaly's pranks can't ever be seen. You can't unsee them. It's for the safety I'm, I'm of right the public. I'm right now having a flight of PTSD right now. I think I have to take a step back. Having some contractions. This yeah. is my husband, George. Congratulations, George. Beautiful baby. Um, it... Is this our baby? Eve. I just got the I just got the text. <laughs> we got uh, chased down by uh, security on camels in Egypt. Yeah. Yeah, we got oh, whipped. I got whipped. He got Egypt. whipped by a, a guy on a camel at the pyramids. Pranked pyramid people. That was cool. And then pyramid uh, people. I mean the, the I think that's what they go by. The pyramid security. <laughs> <laughs> to uh, put your mouth on some balls. Yeah, it's gonna get weird. <laughs> yeah. Pump it harder. Pump it harder. Harder. Pump it. Pump it. Pump it. Pump it. Pump it. Pump it. Yes. Wanna play some ball, man? <laughs> You know it looks like fun. In Britain, they were like, what were we doing? We were putting like dirty toilet paper on oh, geez. people's backpacks. Poopy toilet paper. And we'd like put it on them, and then we'd go up and be like, um, there's something on there. You have something on there. Like embarrass them, but man, no, they, they don't were mess pissed. Around, yeah, they were like, they don't mess around. Are you, oh, what do you say? Like, <laughs> Childish, how old are you? Yeah, how old are you? You're very mature. You're just very mature, aren't you? Chinese restaurant and wondered what those dog noises were. You're not killing dogs, big girl. Excuse me? Okay. Guessing boom boom? I told you to use the back door. Back door. That's not good advertising. The prank game has become very saturated, which is yeah. cool. A lot of entertainment out there. Uh, so, but then also it's very competitive, um, and then people are real desperate to, you know, go further past the line so they stand out more. Oh,